Hi everybody. Today we're going to be exploring MindTap. And as you can see, when we walk through the learning path, this section in the center of the screen here, we're divided into individual chapters or units. These chapters and units are comprised of far more than the reading activity, but instead include flashcards, assignments, and more. Here you can see that we're adding a date and a description to an individual component of the learning path. The instructor simply clicks Save, and those changes are automatically made. Adding activities is extraordinarily easy. As you can see, here we add a YouTube video, searching within the MindTap environment. Here I've done a search for TED Talks, and I'll select this video from Sir Ken Robinson. Click Continue, and we have the opportunity to actually add notes before or after the video. This allows us to focus the student's attention in ways that we simply couldn't before. Embedding videos also allows us to remove distracting components from comments to recommended videos. Here you'll select the location of that video, click Save, and there we can see it's right at the top of our list. Let's go ahead and select the reading assignment. Here in Chapter 3, you'll notice that we have three ways to navigate. From the Table of Contents, to the Page Turner, to the MindTap Skimmer, which not only allows us to select an individual section, but also allows us to track our progress through the solution. Here we have the ability to intuitively highlight the text. We can highlight the text in four separate colors and even highlight text to define a word, hear that section being read aloud, or add a note. As you can see, we're doing here. If the instructor would like to customize their content in line, they simply select the pencil and then choose the section where they would like to implement the customized material. Here we've selected My Content, allowing us to add media-rich content from Kaltura or documents of the formats we're seeing here. And in this demonstration, we'll add a PDF. In this case, the MindTap infographic. Select the radio button, click Continue, and you'll be prompted to add a title and even text before or after the document. Once satisfied, simply scroll down and click Save. This will instantly add the customized content in line and will automatically be available for students to view. You also notice that in the upper left hand corner we have the option to click on Read Speaker, hear the entire text being read aloud, choose to print, and in the right hand corner of the reading pane we can add a bookmark. This brings us to our app dock on the right side of the screen. Here we see the ability in the My Notes app to access any of the highlights and notes that we've added in the text, creating a virtual study guide. Additionally, we can see all of the bookmarks in one place and even access notes that link directly to our Evernote account. In My Content, we can access Kaltura and Google Docs. Through the Applia app included in many of our MindTap courses, we have the ability to customize certain aspects of assignments. Here we'll change the type from Great It Now to Randomized and click Save. Additionally, through the Connect Yard app, we have the ability to truly embrace social media. Here in this example, we could type one message and link it out to our students in the ways that they've chosen to communicate with us, whether it's through Facebook or Twitter their cell phones or other personal email accounts, this becomes a two-way communication stream and a very effective way to engage with our students. The View Progress app was recently updated. The new look and feel makes it easier to navigate and analyze what's happening with our students. With flashcards, we can access stock flashcards made for every single chapter. Navigation is intuitive, and we can even create our own cards. You'll notice we also have the ability to add RSS feeds, really simple syndication, bringing current content into our course. And last but not least, we have the ability to define words. We encourage you to get in yourself today to create your own personal learning experience.